South Congress, you'll never believe this South Congress Avenue fact. South Congress, abbreviated SOCO, is a neighborhood located on South Congress Avenue in Austin, Texas, in the United States. It is also a nationally known shopping and cultural district known for its many eclectic small retailers, restaurants, musics, and art venues, and more recently, food trucks. South Congress begins at the Colorado River and Ann W. Richards Congress Avenue Bridge and runs due south toward Ben White Boulevard on 71. The area is bordered by two historic South Austin neighborhoods, Travis Heights to the east and Bowling Creek to the west. Since its humble beginnings in the 1850s, South Congress Avenue has been transformed from a rural country road to the capital city gateway and, finally, to the shopping district that it is today. Some Austinites attribute its enduring popularity to the unobstructed view of the Texas State Capitol. Edwin Waller designed Congress to be Austin's most prominent thoroughfare in the 1830s. However, Congress did not extend south of the Colorado River until 1852, when James Gibson Swisher donated land for a road that was both the postal route to Austin and the main highway to San Antonio. Growth along South Congress slowed during the 19th century. It was not until the completion of a concrete bridge in 1910 that South Austin had reliable transportation over the river. Rapid growth finally came to South Austin in the 1920s as the streetcar was expanded down South Congress. As hundreds of bungalows were built in South Austin, more commercial enterprises began appearing south of the river, especially on South Congress. By 1931, South Congress was finally paved all the way from the river to the railroad at present-day Ben White Boulevard. Many of South Congress's icons opened their doors between 1930 and 1960. The Austin Motel opened in 1938 and the Hotel San Jose shortly thereafter. The hamburger stand that would eventually become the legendary Nighthawk opened on South Congress in 1932. Another major development was the Twin Oaks Shopping Center at the northeast corner of Old Torf's Road and South Congress. It was one of Austin's first strip shopping venues when it opened in 1954. South Austin opened further during the 1950s as the Congress Avenue Bridge was widened and the construction of Interstate 35 provided an alternative north-south route. During the 1970s, South Congress became a mecca for artists, musicians, and their supporters. The legendary Armadillo World Headquarters opened at the corner of South Congress and Barton Springs Boulevard in 1970. Tourist traffic declined on South Congress with the rise of I-35, and many businesses fell into disrepair. By the late 1980s, small eclectic retailers began popping up along the South Congress corridor. Attracted by cheap rent, the area's renaissance began at the intersection of South Congress and Monroe by putting their historic buildings to good use to attract eclectic retail businesses, arts, and music venues and restaurants in the area. South Austin's first skyscrapers appeared at South Congress and Riverside Drive when two new hotels opened. In 1988 was a watershed moment for the area, as Kent Cole and Diana Prester fixed a beat-up wood frame building that had operated as Flossie's Bar and the Austex Lounge and reopened it as Magnolia Cafe South. They said they were attracted by the colorful people and cheap rent. Memories of drug dealers and prostitutes began to fade in the 1990s. Austin, a relatively small city for most of its history, suddenly enjoyed a tremendous economic boom that attracted new residents and drove an increased demand for older housing stock in the Travis Heights and Bolden Creek neighborhoods that, in turn, spurred massive renovation along South Congress and throughout Old South Austin. The 1990s witnessed the redevelopment of the Austin Theater, the HEB at Old Torf and South Congress, and more. Perhaps the most ambitious renovation undertaken was the redevelopment of Penn Field from an industrial plant to a multi-use complex that includes office space, retail, and residences. By the end of the decade, 
South Congress was well on its way to becoming a nationally known shopping and cultural district. South Congress is Austin's biggest shopping, entertainment, and tourist street, and it has a rich history. It was first paved with concrete in 1910 when a new bridge was built and streetcar lines were extended across the river, and since then, it's continued to grow and evolve into what it is today. Here's a throwback to what it looked like back in the early 1990s. If you're visiting Austin, SoCo is a good central home base with easy access to other parts of town and enough great restaurants to fill up a solid weekend of eating. Here are my top picks for where to stay, shop, and eat. Austin's food scene is not for the faint of heart. Within the South Congress neighborhood, you'll find culinary tourism at its most delicious. Get coffee and a breakfast taco to go at Joe's Coffee, home of the famous I Love You So Much mural. Try brunch at Cafe Noce or dig into a steak dinner at Mayday, both located in the South Congress Hotel. The handmade burgers at Hop Dotty Burger Bar range from beef to chicken and ahi tuna to vegan. Neighborhood joint Home Slice Pizza serves oversized New York style pies with foldable slices. At Habana Soco, claim a private outdoor cabana for Cuban specialties and mojitos. Charming Abba draws influences from Israel, Lebanon, Greece, and Turkey into its Mediterranean cuisine. Experience an intimate omakase dinner at 12-seat restaurant Atoko or gather with friends on the large patio at Perla's for coastal oysters and champagne. Joanne's Fine Foods, next to the Austin Motel, blends genres with its upscale diner feel and Mexican-American menu. Unique Cafe The Meteor combines coffee and approachable food with the cycling culture. Before you leave SoCo, sample classic and inventive flavors from Amy's Ice Creams. From historic blues clubs to record shops stacked with obscure vinyl, the rhythm of this road is going to get you. Historic venue, the Continental Club, hosts live music on their main stage and in the second floor Continental Gallery. From live soul and R&B, visit Seaboy's Heart and Soul. Upstairs, the Jade Room is inspired by the 1950s GI bars of Japan. Take the stage at Ego's, a cozy dive tucked under a parking garage featuring nightly karaoke. On Wednesdays and weekends, head to the Oak Garden at Guerrero's Taco Bar for live Americana and blues. Walkable South Congress is a boutique shopping paradise. At the North End, visit the Cheek Shops at Music Lane for jewelry, apparel, and home goods. To the South, Kendra Scott offers custom jewelry and a pretty counter service cafe. Down the street, shop handcrafted paper goods, artwork, and gifts from Letterpress Play. Indulge your sweet tooth at Big Top Candy Shop, packed with candy and chocolate, fine novelty gifts, quirky toys, and specialty board games at colorful shop Monkey See, Monkey Do. All the teas, art, and home decor at Parts and Labor are the work of Texas-based artists and artisans. Maya Star offers on-trend women's clothing, jewelry, and handbags. Wander the huge selection of cowboy boots and western wear at Allen's Boots and get a custom-shaped topper at Mofraz Hats. At Primadora, you'll find fun Austin-themed magnets, mugs, and clothing designed by local artists. Looking for lodging in the middle of the action? There are a number of places to stay on South Congress just steps away from the excitement. Everyone fits in at the quirky and iconic Austin Motel and Hotel St. Cecilia. It's for those who want a quaint retreat just off the main drag. Not just for chic slumbering, locals frequent the modern minimalist South Congress Hotel to partake in on-site features such as sunroom boutique, revival cycles, and three spots to eat and drink. Spend a tranquil night or just take a break with the Frosé on the patio at Hotel San Jose or book your stay at the newest boutique hotel on the South Congress scene, Hotel Magdalena with a 1970s vibe just steps away from shops and eateries.